Um, management report to number three, Middle Island Irish Historical Park, uh, Councillor Summers. Move that council provides Middle Island Irish Historic Inc. with $16,160 from the contingency fund to cover the cost of one seasonal employee for 2023. Thank you, uh, Councillor uh, Summers. Seconded by Councillor King. On that question, Councillor Johnston. Thank you, Debbie. In addition to the uh, $16,160 for the seasonal employee, the question is twofold. Uh, one, is that a student position or a regular season employee adult type of person? And is there additional funding for go towards Middle Island in this fiscal year as well? Thank you, Councilor Johnson. I believe that would be you, Mike. The first is for a long time seasonal employee. My meetings were held uh, with representatives of municipality and Middle Island Park um, Association, I guess, or all the names. Uh, we acknowledge or we advise them that funding was cut back to 10000 and they requested specifically that it would, in addition to that funding, a cost of one more year for a long standing employee who had worked there a number of years. And there was an indication given that council, you know, the city would be favorable to that. However, no motion was passed, no motion that needs to be finalized, you know, if you're going to confirm the representations that were formally made. So the first one is it's a long time employee and it's for one year. The second question is the amount of funding, if anything, is part of in the management report, there is an unfolded promotion that basically says if council wishes to give more, they requested 25,000. The response will be 16. And, um, and if council wishes to give more, we've given a template for a motion if, any, if they want to fill in the blank kind of thing. I know there's discussion of perhaps providing them with the $5,000 in, in a list in your letter added up to the 5000 I know there's some discussion. So we put that there as a possible second motion. Other than that motion, there is no schedule or no intentions or no plans that for the funding this year for the Thank you, Mr. Any other questions? Uh, happy New Year. I missed something here, and uh, I guess it's probably passed through. I said eight a three, and I didn't see the three. But the twenty-five thousand dollars for Mid Island. Mm -hmm. I know we passed the sixteen thousand one. I don't know if it's too late to talk on that now or, or not. It's on the agenda. I'm just wondering if we can. Uh, Go back and uh, make an approval of about twenty-five thousand dollars for the middle island. So, one query uh, for the council means what? And the original twenty-five thousand dollars asked that did include the sixteen thousand one hundred sixty, correct? Um, it was less than clear. I mean, it was less than clear. We had asked that and didn't get quite a direct answer back mm -hmm. uh, whether it included the sixteen. No, it doesn't include the sixteen. So. But I would point out to the councillor is if you have the manager report, Councillor King, there is a template for a motion um, for any further funds. Uh, for that period. It's at the bottom of the uh, council can approve or request for additional funding. The very last thing about the word submitted. Mm -hmm. On the second page, it only says submit it. The line above there is a template motion for additional funding. Okay. You would just have to fill in the blank. Okay. Um, can I make that motion now? Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry about this, Deputy uh, Mayor. No, 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 sorry. It got by me too quick, I guess. I didn't see that. It said 8A, but I didn't see a 3. Okay? Well, I'll, I'll, I will apologize that I was moving. The only thing is, I, I'm worried about is, you know, we support Boulder Garden. We support Pitchy Wharf. And we support uh, uh, the boat of the San Marina. Or water for green. 
an extra twenty-five thousand dollars. All these, all these areas got in big crowds. And I was down there the the Brunswick Day one. My God, you, could, you couldn't get another car on there or another person. Thank the island of the sun. But anyway, I'm I'm just wondering that uh, if the city can go ahead and. and According to the finances, like we said, we'll start there before the finances that the city didn't get a their finance thing, and they did. They come from Cyril uh, or Mitch's Association of Finances. Uh, just if I can clarify that, uh, yeah, sorry, if I can clarify that it's called a review engagement. Yeah. And it's like a mini audit, and the firm that gave the document to us did not sign off on that aspect because they're not qualified to sign off on that. We need a chartered accountant to sign off on that aspect. So we got some financial statements, but they weren't uh, a quote mini audit, as is in the report that we had asked all the other firms to give us. Yeah. Just so you know, we got documents, but they weren't sworn off by a chartered accountant. Yeah, I said here before, Mr. Manager, that we never got any finances, period. That's, that's, all, that's all I'm getting at. Yeah, yeah, no, that was the first time. You were correct. And, and since this started, we did get sent some financial statements. We did get sent some financial statements since the first inquiry. You're correct. Okay. Okay, I'll make this motion. I move that. So I'm going to just interrupt for one second to remind everyone that our microphones have to be on here uh, for. At all means, let alone this one where we're televised here. So, Councilor King, to you. Okay, I I move out there. I, I don't know where. Oh, wait, okay. I move out to see for Bernie Midland Irish Story Park with an additional twenty-five thousand in financial assistance. Said funding to come from the contingency fund. All right, thank you, Council. Thank you. Just as a means of clearing up any ambiguity here, you're asking for another 25000 over the age of the because Lynch just said if they don't get the money, they're going to go away and all. No, so hang on, and I understand, but your motion is another 25000 yes. over and above the 16160 Yes. Very good. Because I have students to pay, and they get money from the students at the end of August or September. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, do we have a seconder for Councillor King's motion here this evening? Councillor Arsenault. Second, so we can have the discussions. Thank you for that. And uh, okay, so here we go. And on the question, Councillor Arsenault, please. Uh, I remind you, the microphone will be key here. So, um, struggle with this one. Uh, I, I fully supportive of, of paying the sixteen thousand one sixty. Would happily make uh, another motion. Uh, to provide the 5400 that they need to cover the unexpected uh, expenses, but um, which would bring us to about 21 with another 25 on top of that, which is 46, with the 10 that we've already given, which is really 56. It's a lot. It's a lot. Um, I understand. I understand that it's tough to run these organizations, but that was the. Uh, idea behind uh, the city taking back the maintenance of the island to remove that burden on the, on the group um, and and trying to support them that way. Um, so I, I, I am struggling with an additional 25. I could, I could see us going up to 25, but with an additional 25 on top of the 16 and the 5 would be very hard. Okay, thank you, uh, Councillor Arson. Anyone else? Mr. Councillor, uh, excuse me, Councillor Ross Robinson. Uh, Councillor, please. Just a quick point of clarification. Uh, so, a little bit confused here on where we stand. Um, but my understanding is that we were making commitments to um, take on the capital expenses of the island, and we're also um, willing to support the, the maintenance person on the island. So what's being tabled here now of that $41,000, is that to be understood as over and above those commitments? Are we getting into the paying for the operational kind of costs? And just the dollars and cents of it are escaping. So any clarification on that would be great. So your commitment 
happens to date are $26,000, $10,000 from your budget, and $16,000 from tonight for a total of $26,000. The, if this, the motion that's on the floor passes, you will add $25,000 to that amount. If the number that Councillor Arsenal yeah. mentions passes, it will be a total amount of thirty-one dollars So the previous, I mean, approved the last motion and the, the grant, the budget grant, that encompasses all of the capital expenses that are on the books? Is that correct? Yes. But that, well, that encompasses all the money the city would be giving them. Right. But the, the $5,400, is that also capital expenses? It is capital. And then the plus two twenty thousand is not capital expenses? Is that what I'm um, clear? Sorry, I just need to. No, no, no. Okay, so maybe I could. It, it would be, I, I would recommend that Council start using words unanticipated expenses because the expenses they're asking for are not capital. Tests for water are not capital, stuff like that. So they are clearly unanticipated for this one. So I don't want Council to get caught up on these were capital ones. Um, so if they had asked for 25 when they knew they were getting 10. That's what I can tell you. There is now, which would be a total of 35. There has been a, pro a total of 26 approved, if that helps. And whatever number you add to the 26 by this motion, it's up to council to be used for, for anything that they would have for this specified. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Councilor Ross Robinson. I won't be supporting this. Uh, we've had several discussions with this group. We've had, uh, um, well, I sat in on the meeting myself once upon a time, and uh, and there were there were, there was a general understanding of what the city was going to do, and what they were going to do, and how we were going to work and work going forward. Um, and one of these things going forward was that the city was going to to look after the maintenance, the lawn mowing, the the trim, the, the trim into the brush, and, and opening, closing the gate, and all of those things, and I should have alleviated some of their their needs when it came to student employment and that sort of thing. Um, I feel that uh, through these discussions, where I, I left the table thinking that we had a general understanding of who's going to do what, and who's responsible for what, and then uh, as after the door closed and the meeting was over, um, the the what we agreed upon or what was understood was misunderstood. Um, so I had no problem giving the 16,000 uh, in the earlier motion for the staff because it was one of the things that we had understood after these conversations. Um, the additional funds, um, I'm not prepared at this time to entertain any more additional funds until we can sit with that group once again and come up with an understanding um, um, to to Councillor King's point, uh, they, they did provide a, a financial statement after being asked, but for the previous couple of years they didn't provide it. I don't believe that they're holding up their end of the bargain when it comes to talking about uh, what their needs and wants are and uh, what our limitations are and what our capacity is as, as, a, as a municipality to provide taxpayer dollars for their, their enterprises. So, that being said, um, I'm no on this motion, and uh, I would entertain talking to them again, but uh, we would have to have a signed agreement after that conversation so that uh, there's no misunderstanding. Thank you, uh, Councillor Ralph Robinson. Uh, anyone else? So time for a vote, and just to, to clear up any ambiguity, we are voting on a further $25,000 that was put on the table by Councillor King and seconded by Councillor Arsenal. Just another question, Councilor King. Some this group here that had some new members on the committee. A few people that went away. I just want to let you know that. And uh, another thing is that uh, when it was given over to the city to close the gates, it was only done once. Once only. So far. That's it. Been a while and I've done the rest. But the garbage pickup and stuff like that, I'm not quite sure. I, I agree with the uh, answer, Rob Robinson. 
be great to have to stay on for another meeting. Hope these folks can start the problems. One problem. That's coming for purpose. Thank you. Thank you. Great with the council meeting. I don't want to muddy the waters here. In the spirit of that and meeting as Councilor Ross Robinson has suggested, are we premature in this vote here or do you want to let her stand here tonight? Yeah. With the understanding that there will be a meeting in the future here, despite yeah. the outcome of tonight? No, I don't mind the outcome tonight. If we can sit down and discuss this problem, they will have folks. I have no problem with it. Uh, we agree this motion. I would agree with that motion. Okay, so on the question again, Councillor King has moved that we approve another $25,000, seconded by Councillor Arsenault. On that question, all those in favor? Aye. And to the contrary? Aye. 